Hello and welcome to Klagemauer TV. In the evening of Monday the 30th of June, the ceasefire in Ukraine ended, without an extension of time by President Poroshenko. Already during the same night, the Ukrainian army bombarded local outposts with heavy artillery fire and air raids. Again, uninvolved civilians were killed in this attack. Just before this, Russia's President Vladimir Putin had campaigned for an extension of the ceasefire. According to media reportage, he also agreed to allow Ukrainian border guards permission to enter Russian territory. Together with their Ukrainian colleagues, they should patrol the border at those locations where so-called separatists had control of outposts on the Ukrainian side. OSCE observers should also be allowed to do their job on the Russian side of the border in the future. In spite of this amazing goodwill on the part of Putin, however, Washington expects from Moscow still a larger contribution to de-escalation of the conflict, according to Jen Psaki, spokesperson for the U.S. Minister of Foreign Affairs. Stefan Seibert, spokesman for the German government, blew the same horn, expecting from Moscow still greater efforts for a peaceful solution of the conflict. Already before Poroshenko ended the ceasefire, and with it the hopes for a peaceful and diplomatic resolution to the conflict, spokesperson for the U.S. Foreign Minister, Tsaki, promised the full support from Washington for the government in Kiev. I quote, Whichever decision they make, they will have our support. So although Poroshenko and his supporters are actually responsible for the many new deaths in Ukraine, Vladimir Putin must yet again serve as the scapegoat for all the events in Ukraine. In his speech to a convention of Russian diplomats on July 1st, the Russian president denounced this procedure and analyzed the situation. Here Putin concerning Poroshenko's decision. It is very unfortunate that President Poroshenko decided to continue military attacks. Neither our European colleagues nor myself managed to convince him that the way to secure long-lasting and stable peace cannot be achieved with war. Putin concerning Ukrainian domestic politics. All that is happening in Ukraine is an internal domestic affair of the Ukraine. But we deplore that civilians are being killed and the amount of refugees is growing. Putin about the death of the Russian journalist who was killed during the ceasefire while he was accompanying a group of Ukrainian women who wanted to visit their husbands at a military outpost and while he was filming, the journalist was shot and killed. It is absolutely not acceptable to kill journalists. Who is afraid of objective information? Only those who are committing a crime. Putin concerning NATO. Concerning Crimea, we simply could not allow that NATO just occupies the whole Black Sea area and by this introduce a radical turnabout in the political development of the region. Putin about Europe. There must be persistent work towards eliminating in Europe all intrusion into the inner affairs of sovereign countries as well as extortion or threats within the relationships between the countries, as well as preferential treatment of any radical or neo-Nazi powers. We here in Europe all need something like a security network so that the events in Libya, Iraq, Syria and unfortunately also in the Ukraine cannot develop further like a contagious illness. Putin concerning the international situation. The whole world is sinking in conflicts. Everywhere destabilization programs are being carried out, they undermine everything – politics, economy, finances, ethics and morals. Many people are waking up and beginning to invest in national movements in order to not lose their identity in the polarized, one-sided world order which originates from only few countries. Valued viewers, please reflect on the basis of Putin's own statements, whether it is Russia which promotes warmongering politics or not. Meanwhile, we can wait and see if this week's crisis summit in Berlin will answer and accept Russia's request for a new ceasefire or not. 
Dear Klagamara TV viewers, tell others about this channel so that the important information isn't just remaining in a small viewer circle. Our daily media commentaries allow the counter voices to be heard, giving a voice to those against the worldwide warmongering. Win others for this independent media that this information becomes public everywhere. Widely spreading information can still hinder the worst. Thanks for your persistence. Goodbye until next time.